Hi everybody, Will from Holdfast Marine, your local boat shop. And today we are gonna be making a new set of these for a customer's boot. Now these are just really junk starboard, like not even starboard, like these would be called like starboard -a days or something like that, like they're wicked knockoff. So I'm gonna go ahead and remake these out of plywood fiberglass resin gel coat make them look nice and pretty i have uh received some comments that my videos are too long and i've come to the understanding that most people have the attention span of a gnat <laughs> i guess that's from tiktok you know who i'm talking about um so i'm just gonna make this video as short as possible and if you have any questions or want some more information let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to walk you along with how I did this. So I'm just going to get right into this and here we go. So today I'm going to be using my CNC machine to cut all of this out. Yes, it would probably be a little bit quicker just using the table saw um, and a jigsaw and so on and so forth. But my table saw, I got a fence upgrade coming. It's not going to be here for a couple days. Um, and I, ha I don't have a four inch uh, diameter hole saw. So what I've done is I've gone into my program here and I have created the layout to fit on this piece of plywood. And I'm going to go ahead and start this baby up and see, uh, see if we make a mess or see if it comes out all right. issues with that but nothing major um the uh, not a great sound um it seems like there was something up with the machine it wouldn't quite cut uh all of the pieces out that i wanted to and i don't know if that's because i did most of my drawing in illustrator or what but you don't even care you guys don't care you've made that very clear you the care. number you have dialed so anyway, um, I'm going to pull this piece out, cut my pieces out, and I'll probably do the other side uh, tomorrow. Well, I uh, had to do a little bit of trimming because uh, each one of these boxes, there we go, each one of these boxes has like a uh, uh, rounded up on the bottom a little bit there. So I had to go and um, just do a little bit of trimming. And then the back pieces have a bevel on them here. So I just did that bevel up in the table saw and ran that down. I was a little off my mark. It, uh, you know, made that this a little bit taller. But 
honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and um, sand everything down flat with the Festool. Uh, the top does fit. It looks good. But it is 516 right now. And I'm tired, so I'm going to head home for the night. And we'll pick this back up tomorrow. Well, we're at day two of building these boxes. Just to show you real quick what I've done. Is I fit everything up last night like you saw. And then I'm going in and I am uh, countersinking uh, some screw holes here to hold some number uh, number eight inch and a quarter stainless steel screws right here. And what I did was, and I wanted to show this um, before the time lapse, was if you take a look here, let's see. You see how far I sunk the heads really far in there. And the reason I did that is because I want to uh, uh, have the screws sunk down enough that when I go over this with some uh, thickened uh, polyester resin, um, that the, uh, the screws um, are buried enough that when I sand it, I don't sand through to the screw. And then the other thing that I'm going to be using, we're not going to be using wood glue, but I'm going to be using, I've got it over here on the, on the heater heating up, is I've got this Fixo uh, thickened epoxy from Total Boat. And that's what I'm going to be using for gluing um, these pieces. Let's see. Gluing these pieces together, I'm going to run a bead down here, glue it together, wipe off the excess, and, um, and then that will be really good and strong. Um, so I want to get one box built before we start doing the other one in case I have any problems. Here we go. box all screwed together and clamped up. I always like to use clamps. I'm just really going to, you know, grab a paper towel here and try and get as much of the squeeze out uh, as I can because the squeeze out is epoxy and we're going to be running all of this with, you know, polyester. I don't want to have any potential issues, even though it will, you know, it's going to stick to this. There's no doubts in my mind about that. Um, just a couple of, you know, little spots where it's a little, little high there, a little high there, but that's just all shaping. I mean, really what's going to hold this all together is going to be the, um, uh, the fiberglass. This stuff, by the way, uh, is MDO, medium density overlay. It is not MDF. This is what they make billboards out of. Um, and it really honestly has very little voids, um, which is great for structural plywood. Um, where there are little voids, because there are a couple here and there, um, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill those with uh, uh, some resin, some polyester resin, and just kind of goo it in there. And that should do just fine, because all of these edges have to be sealed um, with the poly resin. Um, I'm not going to wrap the edges um, with anything, really, um, because... It's just a pain in the ass to wrap. But the first thing I need to do is I want to ease at least the edge over. Maybe we can get a little bit of a roll, but I doubt it. Because um, it's such a thin piece, only half inch. It's a pain in the ass. Um, and maybe I'll use chop strand matting. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So that's what I'm going to get set up for next. Well, sorry you didn't get to see me routing the edges. That just went a little bit more disastrous than normal. But we got a nice rolled over edge. I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of sandpaper to smooth it out. And then we'll go from there. All right. I'm 
pretty much set up here and ready to go. I've got my piece sanded. I'm going to go over it first with some of the Total Boat uh, de-waxer and surface prep. And then I'm going to mix up about an ounce or two of the uh, polyester resin with some MEKP. And then I'm just going to roll it on here uh, with the... Uh, I buy these at the hardware store. They're uh, 3 8 semi-smooth uh, rollers. They work great. I find that the, the stuff really doesn't eat them away too much. Um, I've got some chop strand matting, uh, which I made you on the other side, or the top. And I've got some 1708 um, for the bottom. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is building up a little bit of height, but that's okay. We'll deal with that uh, if we have to. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and I'm just going to get it. Just a quick note here, I'm going to be using these Hawk Force uh, cutters to cut out the fiberglass. They're pretty cool. They have a uh, rechargeable battery. I've got two, came with two batteries and uh, two cutter heads. One for cutting stuff like fiberglass and cardboard and then another one for cutting, you know, paper and cloth and stuff like that. So we're going to try these and see how they go. Well, that didn't come out too too bad it looks pretty good i'm gonna leave that and let it do its thing and then once it's dry i'll mix up some gel coat go over the top of the gel coat and uh, the gel coat is fresh and brand new and that should uh that should cure up pretty good so it's been about 25 minutes or so and uh i love this my wife wife bought me this garmin phoenix nice watch anyway it's only it's only 56 degrees in here it seems warm but this stuff has taken a little bit longer to kick than normal um so i went ahead and i took the, the hair dryer and i hit it um and that kind of sped it up a little bit but i, I want to go ahead and get the gel coat mixed up and get it on there because uh, i'm being insanely impatient and i want to get to the other side of my no this gel kick gel kick gel coat will kick uh pretty quick so we're using gel coat total boats gel coat white contains wax we're gonna use that we've got two ounces so we want to go uh 14 and 14 there's 14 and there's 14. I like to put the gel coat on pretty thick. Um, gives me something a little easier to sand around. I don't have to really, you know, fart around with it uh, too, too much. Um, and I'm just gonna blast this with the hair dryer real quick and uh, kind of start hoping it'll set up. I wanna fill in all of these, uh, I wanna fill in all the screw holes before I go home tonight. And uh, really quickly, I made this little stick to kind of get in the edges but you can't see that so it's a mess so i'm going to be using this structural repair putty and again i've had this stuff for a while so 
if it works great if it doesn't whatever and what i did was i just went in i bought a couple of these little stirrer things for your drill and i went in and stirred it up really 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 good this stuff is awesome but it's a huge pain in the ass to measure out and mix up um, i'm gonna go grab a little spatula and i'll be right back instead of putting this stuff in a mixing cup i'm gonna mix it right on this board uh, kind of like you just do for um if you were going to make up a uh, fairing compound and i don't need much probably going to try and go through and do all the edges and whatnot and, but anyway so i'm just gonna lay this out and i'm gonna make a little well kind of right in the middle there and then i'll grab my neck and this is seven drops per ounce that's not really quite an ounce so i'm gonna mix this a little hot so and goes the MEKP, and then we stir. I never used to do this. I used to always um, do this in a mixing cup, and one of my buddies up in Maine was like, why do you do that? Do it like this, dummy. I'm going to start filling in some holes here. Well, that's going to do it for my time today here at the shop. I want to go home. I guess my wife is getting out a little early, so that's great. Um, I just wanted to note real quick that the Total Boat Structural uh, Polyester Repair Putty, say that five times fast, is very comparable maybe to some of you other guys who have used the product, a product called Hull and Deck, H-U-L-L and Deck, Hull and Deck. And it's almost the exact same stuff. It's got little milled fibers in it and you can really kind of gush it into spots to, you know, bring some rigidity back, um, you know, because it is polyester. And it's, you know, it's, it's laminating as well. So you can kind of go over it. And that's what we're gonna use on the inside corners of everything and radius them and then we'll go in and put glass all over it. So that's gonna be in the next video, which will be coming to you probably next week sometime. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Please drink responsibly and tip your waitresses.